Eight weeks is, is, is enough. Six weeks. Yeah, yeah I'm, with, I'm with Mick. I, I, you know, I can cop six. I wouldn't yeah. have quibbled over eight. Yeah. But, you know, I think six is... Yeah. All right, Michael Maguire yeah. is getting on the front foot after months of speculation about his future. The West Tigers coach is adamant that he won't be going anywhere. I'm that busy coaching the team. I don't really tend to spend too much time worrying about the external world. And I've got a great family too that I go home to. So uh, that's what really matters the most. If it comes to the point where you are Oren four. Do you fear for your job? No, I don't, no. No, I'm very focused on what we need to do and uh, the organisation, we talk very openly. I've uh, got a really strong relationship with um, you know, everyone around myself and, and the coaching staff. Are you confident you've still got the support of that group and you are all on the same page? Uh, the way they train and the way they go about things, and as I said, yeah, we, we managed to get across that try line and we scored that try that was uh, at the back end of the game. We're talking about a different subject right now. so. Uh, you know, I know what this team is really capable of, and, and they do themselves. That's all it matters. Yeah, Paul Major's cotton bullets left, right, and centre. Uh, but he was on the he's on the media. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's done a few done a few he's interviews. He's done a few interviews week. today. Yeah. He got on the front foot. He was, he was in the Telegraph uh, as well, talking about the, the support that he's got mm. from Sheens. He's confident that he's got the support of everyone there, and he's confident they're going to turn it around. Oh, I think it's a smart play. Look, since it's an experienced uh, play, isn't it? Well, what's happened is. The chairman, Lee Hatchett-Pentalis, has removed himself. Yep. CEO Justin Pascoe has removed himself from all public comments. Mm -hmm. They've handed it over to Tim Sheens. Sheens has assured Maguire constantly he's OK, he'll see out the season, they're not out to sack him. So by going public, Maguire, and, and addressing everybody, everyone's asking the question, but by, by sitting there and taking the questions and answering them, and at every answer, he says, well, Tim Sheens has assured me I'm OK. We're going to be OK. I'm going to get through this. Says, what he basically does is attach Tim Sheens to him yeah, as well. Yeah. So it makes it that much harder now for the Tigers to sack him because, <laughs> because Very it, smart. It, it's, yeah. it's out there and it's public now. The, the club has backed him. The club continues to say they've backed him. But that's and half the, their problem, isn't it? That's half their problem. No one can make a decision there. In what and respect? They shy, they, well, they shy away from... Well, you know, saying that just because he's publicly saying that Tim Sheens has got his support and that Tim's going to wait till the end of the season... Well, Sheens has said it too, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, but, but someone needs to make a decision Well, here. they have made a decision. Yeah. He's staying. Yeah, but no, well, well, and then they're going to stay where, where they are. Well, then... Well, they're not going to... Get, like, so every week you look at that team, Kenty, like, you, you look at the next month, right? Mate, they, Jack Gibson Titans, Sharks, could not come but, back and coach that team that's what I'm saying. to a top eight spot. So uh, what, when are they going to start and make some decisions around their roster? Well, they've got a couple coming next year, OK? There are a couple of players coming next year. They are... Look, that... I don't know when, you ask when they're going to make decisions. Mick, I don't know when. But the fact is, I'm sure they're in the hunt for everybody that's still out there available. But, yeah, but no one... But they're not they landing... Can't, they they're can't not, get them there. Uh, that's and that, true. And that's they're the not difference. landing a blow. Like Craig that, Fitzgibbon, who hadn't coached one NRL game, was able to lure Dale Finucane. Now, they already had Cameron McInnes there. Uh, coming. Okay. Nico Hines, who's there. You yeah. know what? They attracted guys that can I, make a difference to the place. I don't disagree and, with that. Uh, no, but that's what I'm saying. So but I don't point... put the blame down to Michael Maguire as the reason they can't recruit. I think the administration can't land a blow. Well, to be I, fair, I they think have, they're the ones that have been struggling. They've landed up here in Isaiah Papali for next year. Yes. So they have landed a couple, couple of decent blows. But, yeah. you know, the only way he can control the narrative, really, is by winning games. I mean, you can come out and say all this stuff and say, Tim Look. Sheen's backs me. But you know what? I said it the other night. Mm. If you're 0-7, yeah. that backing's not yeah. as strong as it was when you're 0-3 no. or 3-4. So they, play the, they play the Titans, Sharks, Eels and South in the next month. Yeah, it's a tough so, month. So do we, tough do we I think, think they've got one home game in the next six, yeah. too, which well, will make the, it tough. The, 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 the contentious one is too, is if they don't make a decision now with their leadership and coaching staff or whatever, they don't want to be going to win one out of the next four or six. So if they make it in four or six weeks, well, they, they, they've wasted the last I four think or now's six too, weeks. But now's too soon, Braith. It's three weeks. You can't make a decision on the coach well, after three rounds. I'm not saying they're going to make it now. I'm just looking ahead thinking yeah, that this thing could get But if you get, the mid, if you get the mid season now. and things are really... Yeah. don't improve, then... I think the conversation's that's happening of... the way it is, though, Rudy, because mm. it's not just been... Three weeks. Well, it's, it's been, it's been, been going years. for yeah. years. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's why the conversation is where it is. Everyone kind of goes, well, what, in, in the Tigers, why are we doing this? Why are we having this conversation three weeks into the competition and we're not talking about other sides? Well, because you've been where you've been for 10 years. Yeah. But, Mick, if they've and you've been there where you've been for three years if, under match. If they were going to change the coach, yeah. they should have changed him in the off season Agreed. when they made the decision to retain him. You're forgetting the option, which is probably the most likely they will take. OK? And that is that Maguire will see out the year mm. and at some point halfway through the year they'll, yeah. they'll talk to him and they'll say, mate, we're not going to renew you or extend you. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go on the market, they'll spend a month in the market looking for a new head coach, mm. they'll sign him, and then all the recruitment talk about next season, with whatever players are available, will be as the new coach who comes in next year on a clean slate. And trust me, no coach out there now, no assistant coach out there now, would, would want to come in and take over the Tigers no. halfway through this season. Rudy, you were strong last week on Maguire and Brooks. One of them had to go. Mm. Now, I'm going to go to you, Mitch. <laughs> what's, what's Brooks' form like at the moment? Do you see it changing? It hasn't changed for a long time. I've said time and time again, I think the sooner Luke Brooks can leave the West Tigers, I think it will be best for him. I really do. When I saw the Newcastle stuff filter over the off-season, I thought this, this would be a great move for him. A fresh join. It, it, there's been so much spotlight around him, right or wrongly, about when the Tigers don't win. He cops the blame. And I just I don't feel like he he's getting any benefit out of remaining at the Tigers. And, you know, you, the Sean Johnson example's a perfect one, you know, at Cronulla, where Sean was contributing, you know, in, in a lot of areas for Cronulla. But where they wanted to go as a footy club, mm. he wasn't part of that. And they bring in Nico Hines, and you can see what, what a fresh face and a fresh voice in a key position can do. They need that, the West Tigers. They, they need a new halfback uh, that brings something completely different. Brooks has been there a long time, and then I think wherever Brooks goes... I think it'll benefit so him who, too. Who could they sign? This is, I mean, this is another problem. Right? The lack of halves. Well, why are they, not, why are they not chasing Jerome Hughes? Why are they not talking about Jerome Hughes? Don't know, Mick. You know, there's been plenty of great halfbacks off contract over the last three or four years that they've never had any interest in. They've been solely invested in Luke Brooks being able to turn this around, mm -hmm. and he hasn't been able to. But maybe you can... And, 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 you know, in fairness, he's had a lot of coaches there too yeah. that want him to play a certain way. But it's time where Luke kind of just goes, you know what? Thanks, but I'm done here, guys. But and maybe if you let Brooks go, that frees up a half halfback in the club. Right. So you don't know what, you don't know how the dominoes will fall, fall if you make that decision. Certainly frees up halfback money. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. The yeah. other thing too, I, look, I, I, I wouldn't discount that you'll end up at Newcastle sooner rather than Still? later. Yeah, okay. Still, 